Okay, 20 minutes here we'll game. Let's have a look at the answer process again. We're always constantly working on the answer process anyway. Let's give this game a focus on the answer process. Let's work each of the concepts as best possible. So we like to hit the head of the snake, which is like the formation of the pawns. Usually that does fall and that gives maybe a slight advantage to help to whoever breaks, but then you have to position your pieces appropriately. So we're going to capture the pawn, as we've just said. It's trying to establish a bit of a break in this um, process. Knee jerk reaction is to just swing the queen here, but I think the knight is just going to come out and attack, which means we could probably take. So they might not do that, they might just bring the knight and defend. Shall we see what happens? It all depends on what the opponent does. So we're bringing the queen to attack the pawn here because we've got the knight attacking the pawn. So he's got two pieces attacking. Do they attack the queen, uh, the queen or do they defend? Well, they're kind of defending with the knight, which is fine. So I'm thinking now, kingside castling. I'm also thinking this is a nice spot attacking this area here, even though the queen is already there. But I can envisage that the bishop is going to come shooting out here to attack the queen. So do we move the queen and do a preemptive strike and may basically come here? Or do we wait for the bishop to come there, then attack the pawn here? It is easily defended, it's just that the knight will be under threat. So again, maybe the bishop comes back. Oh, maybe we're taking too long over the move, so they've resigned. Okay, well, we'll go on to the next one. Let's start the next one with the answer process. Maybe not take so long, but it is a 20 minute game. Uh, it's not a blitz match, it's a rapid game. So it's defended, and he's attacking our knight. I'm just going to develop our bishop to go and get castled. So they're moving real quick, you know. Um, people accept these um, longer games, rapid games, but they play them like they're bullet matches or blitz matches. And when you take your time, obviously, as that happened in that previous game, they're just not interested. So I'm going to capture the pawn here because the smaller piece is on a higher piece. Their knight is probably going to take. Our knight can't take back just yet because they have a pin through with their bishop onto our king. So that's all pretty straightforward. I'm actually taking with the pawn. Oh, ho, ho. and that's the price you pay for playing fast. <laughs> exactly. Just wanting to get the games over and done with, and they've resigned. Alright, so I don't know if this is a good example of the answer process. We've had the one where they don't want to think too long, and they've resigned the game. And in this game here, they're playing way too fast. Probably did a preemptive strike. And they've just lost a minor piece. We'll go on to the next one anyway. Okay, next one. Again, looking to try and practice the answer process as best possible so hopefully um, the opponent's going to stay on and play the longer game or also that they're not going to play too fast and then beat themselves I'm going to bring the bishop here and attack the knight you can still envisage this taking here just wanting to get the queen activated to get this knight okay let's just take with the queen so that takes it out of the window. Uh, so the knight is attacking our queen. We can move here, keeping a little bit of pressure on the knight, x-raying through to their king. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Is there anything different? There's no check on so I can get the bishop. Nope. Nothing here. Coming back around. I think we'll just go here and x-ray through to the king. Expect that to take or open here, whichever. So this play is taking their time, which is good. And they've probably found a half decent-ish type of, yes, they're going to take. 
going to open up the dark square bishop maybe if we can get kingside castle not going to get too bent out of shape if we can't we've got two active pieces out here at the minute okay so he's looking probably to trade off our white square bishop could slide up but then it's overworking our our queen so i'm actually going to bring the bishop in which hopefully allows us to get castled and get king safety so it's like a double attack situation going on again trying to give them something to think about but i think the bishop's coming here just get rid of pieces the knight's gone there okay that's um So we could go and castle, we could take, knight takes, so the knight's blocking. I think we're going to castle, king safety. Don't need to rush it, just developing the pieces. Trying to make the opponent feel a little bit uncomfortable. Because now this bishop has blocked, so they're going to probably go for the Fianchetto situation. And get that diagonal going, so we can look to push the pawn here, get the knight out. If there's nothing else that we can think of. So no, he's not going for that just yet. Wants us to get rid of the bishop. Do I really want to? Mm. Oh, you know, I don't really have an issue with it. Knight takes, so now the bishop's got nice space to come out. Knight's got these squares. Queen's protecting at the minute. Could bring the pawn up, like we said, anyway. Or do we develop the knight to get into action? Maybe not to there. Swinging around. All seen as a bit long. Let's go with that anyway. Let's get the knight off the back with potential. With potential. Maybe not because the pawn pushes down. Smaller piece attack and high piece, can't be wrong, so that's not a nice touch. So we can. Not there, not there, not there, and not there. So the only safe place to go is here. So a single attack, rather than going for protecting his king, you know, giving his king some space and safety. Um, there must be something that we can do about this type of attack. So I'm actually going to hit the knight, so it gives them something to think about. Just bearing in mind their king is not safe, really, but they might be one of those players that just is happy having their king sat in the middle, because we can't do anything unless there's something that we can do. So we're now attacking the pawn here. If he goes and castles, then we can take the knight off the board. So the knight's going to be looking maybe to move out of the way. Probably more to here because it's on our king side. I don't think there's any other funky attacks that it's got going. So I think jumping here puts it in a better state for them, maybe. They're a long play thinker, they're taking the time, they're looking to try and get those better positions. Tempo wise, as I said, king safety looks to be a bit of a plus for us. Yes, so they've gone to that square. So a smaller piece attacking a higher piece just to harass the knight um, should work out for us. He could come here looking to attack the pawn, which is probably what they might do. Gives us a chance to jump here. Then the rook can obviously attack. So I don't really want to do an attack whereby it's going to mess up our king area. Okay, so the bishop doesn't have anything on it either. So we could attack the bishop. And then save. Because we're always going to be coming here anyway with the knight. I think they'll just come back and attack our bishop. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's attack the bishop. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. So it's just going to come back and attack. Do we take? I think I don't really see a problem with taking. Could always just, uh, but then the knight is there. So I think we'll just take and then maybe attack the knight. So that's coming. We take. Maybe the knight takes it rather than the queen. But the queen wants to come off the back, doesn't it, really? So that they 
can link up the rooks. Oh, okay. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but we can take, then the queen takes, and then we can, oh, the knight's still there. The knight is still there. Right. So if we take, queen takes, hit the knight. Queen's got this diagonal, I just don't want to fall into any knights on the bishops in our mantra. Don't need to overthink that bit. And let's attack the knight. If he's coming here, bishop can take. <clears throat> or if he's just going to attack our bishop. He's probably looking to get a double dose on this pot on, but that might happen in the next few moves. Sacrifice the knight for something? What's the deal? Mm -hmm. Knight in, knight here. Pawn can take. Up. Oh. Maybe it doesn't come here, but because the queen's protecting, so maybe it goes here. Or maybe even just goes here. Can go there. That's not. That's not going to happen. It's a slow development in the game, it's a rapid game, as we said, we don't really want to be blitzing these moves out or bulleting the moves out. We're trying to find those better positions all the time. And they might not be the best moves in the world. So it's going for an attack for an attack. Does that... Um, which one gives better position? If we take... Then he takes... Then our pawn can take again. It's not going to last there for very long, but maybe a rook coming supporting. Our king's going to be airy, but this pawn is in the way. So I'm going to take because it looks like we get material up for a bit of a moment. Maybe it's not because the king's coming down. And my vision was that the rook was coming here, but I'd forgotten that this pawn was going to be blocking the way. Hmm. So we could come here with the rook, put a two on one, but the king's going to take, so we'll have two supporting. If we came here with the rook, his rook king takes. Or if we came here with the queen, I think his rook is just going to hit the queen. We can take this pawn. Yeah, I think that's maybe some type of plan. I'm very mindful of this, but this pawn is blocking at the minute. But I think the rook can take this pawn when the rook comes here. And then we take... Then this rook can take this pawn. And then there's kind of like a mate almost threat thing going on. I do have the rook here. So if our queen is here, we then have this with a check on his king. The king takes, then the rook. Can... Whoa, what's happening? What's happening? See, that's nothing like what we said, is it? I was coming for this pawn. So if we bring this rook out and attack the queen, then he brings his rook and attacks our queen. Oh, this is going to get a bit messy. Let's attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. His rook comes and attacks our queen. I think I'm getting the flavour of this play. He did it earlier when we had attack on his knight. He then attacked our bishop. So he's probably thinking the same way, or he's just going for the pawn. If he goes for the pawn, the rush, uh, what's happening here? Mm, 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 mm. Does 
it look like we can t if we take his pawn takes rook takes king takes Mmm. <laughs> oh, my rooks are late to the party, aren't they? I'm gonna just have to take it, aren't I? Let's take. Take this pawn, then his king takes. Double up. Plus one, but it's doubled, so that doesn't really. Let's put a check on while we're thinking. Mm -mm -mm. Come across, get get this pawn. Right, I'm moving too fast now. Let's talk it through, nice and steady. He may come for an exchange here. Right, just defend. King might come across. Okay, right. So yeah, my knee reaction is to not there, sorry, there to come here. But really he can just come here, can't he? We take he takes his own in files. Come across. Let's come across because it feels probably better if we can go this way. This king is on our rook there. So there's going to be attacks on pieces. Oh, there isn't. Again, knee jerk reaction to go here, put a check on. Can't come down, so you're probably coming to attack. So maybe we don't do that. Well, it looks nice, but it's like, what where do I go from there? So we go one, he goes there. We go up. All looks a bit too slow, doesn't it? Or maybe we'll come down and just attack this pawn. Or why don't we just go straight for attacking the pawn anyway? The issue I've got is, is the fact that he can come here with his rook. So what do we do then? Putting checks on. King's got a bit of space to move. Put checks on, he's just moving backwards and forwards. Let's give that a try anyway. So we're attacking a pawn. I don't like this. For some reason. game maybe they've got a bad signal just hold on three two one oh i'll claim victory on that i'm gonna have to have a look at the analysis on this particular game and just um see if i had things to worry about and i'll go through that oh damn minus five point oh wow okay we're not doing too bad there we're not doing too bad. I mean, I said I didn't like this. I said I was going to go and put a check on, but then if we talked it through, we probably would have just taken this pawn off the board. But then I was worried about him coming down, getting a check on, but our king does have space. So I was definitely not thinking of that move there. So I said I was going to put a check on, but then realizing, I think if we were taking a longer time, I would have realized that he, he was protecting 
this pawn, so we'll probably go and grab this pawn. Could still put a check on. If he comes to protect, then we can take. I don't like playing against the computer, so um, we did say that at some point this pawn is going to be attacked, but in my head I'm thinking a simple manoeuvre here would work. So we're an advan in an advantageous position, minus 5.2, nothing to worry about there. Interesting. 